all just peace in uh, my uh, universal world of peach. Yes, it's me, Mama Cherry. If you haven't met me before, welcome to the channel. Welcome to my bosoms. Let me hold you tight. Today, I'm going to be making a really, 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 really quick, quick salad, okay? And this is the salad that I am making for to go, as you all know, I'm working with a food bank every week. I'm taking food to the needy, the greedy, the vulnerable, everybody who needs it, I'm going to cook it for them. But I'm conscious of, I do a lot of cooking, but I want a salad, a really nice salad. And last week, I was given some cauliflower. Now, the week before, I had cauliflower and I made a broccoli and cauliflower cheese, a hot dish for them. I don't want to be repeating, you know what I mean? I want to give them a variety of dishes. So this week, we're going to make a salad. Now, this salad is a really fresh salad. It's going to be delicious. Even though this is the first time I've ever made it in my life. But you know what? I have confidence. And that's what you need when you start to cook. First thing you want to do is you want to get your fresh cauliflower. Okay? We're not going to cook it because this is a raw salad. And what you want to do is you need to break it up into little pieces. Now, come in close here just so I can show them. Come on in. Bring it in. I want a close-up of this. So, when you get this, you just want to cut as close to the little florets as possible to get them all to fall off. We're going to save this because we're going to chop that up to go in at the end. Then you want to take it and you just want to break it up. Okay? So you can even do it over your bowl. And this is kind of like a lot of now because cauliflower has become so fancy. People use it as rice these days. If they're allergic, they'll just use cauliflower. So I'm going to just break this all up. Not going to take much time to do. All right. Now you can also, because you want it to be in small pieces, you can chop it. Okay. All right. Now this is the out. These are the outer bits to it. So let's just get those in. And I'm just going to keep breaking those with my fingers. Then to that, these. This is the center part. And y'all know me. I don't bend it. Mm -mm, I spin it. I use every part I can. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to cut this down into small pieces. Be careful if you got a sharp knife. You, we don't want you rushing off to the hospital with your fingers falling off. I'm the main one that needs to be listening to my own advice. So we're just going to get this nice and small. Okay. A little bit smaller. It's a real sharp knife, so I'm trying to be careful. Alright, so that's pretty much it on the cauliflower side. Now, I do believe that when you eat, you eat with your eyes as well. Because if it looks rubbish, you ain't going to want to put it in your mouth. But if it looks like sunshine on a plate, wow! No, it's coming in your mouth. So, there we go. Let's put that in. So that's my cauliflower. To this, as you can see, so I'm going to take this because I'm going to toss it all in here. So that's my cauliflower. Okay? To the cauliflower, we're going to add some chickpeas. You don't need to go out and get no fresh ones. Just get you some tin chickpeas and put your chickpeas in there. Oh, no. Is that a little bit of... Chickpea water. I'm oh, not very little. Okay. Now, next you can see here on my plate, I've got some diced red pepper because that's a bit bland. You don't want to be eating nothing bland, like I said, with your eyes. So we're going to put some red pepper and we're going to put some diced carrot in. Okay, that's some lemon zest. That's going to come later. The next thing we're going to do, this salad is delicious because it combines fresh herbs. You need to sneeze? No. no uh, I'm right. I thought you was about to sneeze on me. 
So, we have here some fresh coriander or cilantro. We have parsley and we have some fresh mint. Now, the best way to do it is get the whole thing, ball it up together, just like this. Then get your knife and then just slice through. Okay, can you see that? You getting it? Yeah. And you want the stalks. A lot of people think, you know, when they're looking at herbs, they be picking the little leaves off and leaving the stems. Mm-mm. Your flavor is in the stems. So make sure you get all of that. So now let's just take this and watch this. I'm going to roll it up again because there's still some big pieces in here. Cut it up nice and small. Because you don't want to be choking on no parsley. You know, what's the point of having a salad if you're going to end up choking? So get it cooked. Good. There we go. Bam! Drop it on. Next, we've got some spring onions here. So I'm going to take our spring onions. I'm just going to slice down the middle. Get that end off. Okay. Take that little end there off. And then we're just going to slice our onions. It's starting to roll away on me and go as far up as you can okay like I say we want the greenery we want the color in our salad okay so I'll get it to this level and you can see that's like a little big stringy bit now nah, we don't want no stringy bit so take your knife and go back through that there we go pull it together and chop. Now, I'm making this ahead of time because this salad is best left to marinate in the fridge. Okay? So, onions in. Alright, so, the last thing I'm going to add to this, I thought some pumpkin seeds would be really nice. Give that little nutty flavor. This is a really good hearty salad. So we're going to now add some pumpkin seeds. Taste them. Mm. They good. Oh, look at that. The different shades. Now, we're going to mix this all up. Mix it together. Mmm. Yes. Now, mm, we're now going to add some love dust, baby, yeah, Peon. yeah, mama's Cajun seasoning, some love dust, and some sea salt, okay, give it another mix. And then, to bring it all together, I have squeezed one lemon and one lime. And I think I'm going to put a little bit, a half of the lemon more. So let's squeeze this in. And we want the pulp as well, but we don't want the seeds. We got pumpkin seeds. So we don't need lemon seeds. Let's flick those out. Flick. Come on. Flick. Okay. Take that. Because you want the pulp. Then, we're going to get us some olive oil. Let me see where my olive oil. Did I fill my thing up? No, I did not. So let me, well, I'll just use this one. 
This is virgin, extra virgin. We don't just go virgin. We go extra. Go extra with the mama. So, so what we're going to do here, we're going to put some olive oil. Oh, yes. And then I'm going to take this lemon juice. Are you catching it? Yeah. You sure? Now, wait a minute. Almost forgot. See my zest? I'm going to take this zest now and put that straight in with my lemon juice. Because we really want it to be, we want it to go bam on your tongue. Mix that up. And now, let's just get this lemon juice. Ah, all the zest. Where's my spoon? And here's some roasted garlic and peppers. Black pepper. And the last thing we want are some chili flakes. Now, if you notice, this salad is 100% vegan. Okay, you vegans out there. I want y'all to give this a try. So now, it's just a matter of mixing it. And we've got a nice crunchy. Bring it on in here. Give me a little close up of my pop. Look at that. Yeah, you zooming in on that? Yeah. Okay. And like I say now, all we gotta do, hold up. Damn, y'all, that good. Mmm. But what it needs to do, it needs to rest just a bit so that all of these flavors can combine. Mmm. Mmm. One more thing. Hold up. I know it's going to make this turn into just like delicious give me one second i'll be right back pause okay here we go mama's homemade pickles oh yes these were baby cucumbers i oh, can't even open it and i have turned them in to my own pickles so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to dice a few of these into it and i think it's just going to lift it Yeah, these are, I've got a recipe online, can you see, of my home, how to make my homemade pickles. So, have a look at that. So, I'm just going to slice these. Okay, so here we go. And then we're just going to dice those up. Because what you're trying to look for is you want all of the pieces to be roughly the same size. Oh, yes. Okay, let's get this in. We could probably use a little bit more. I'm going to just put a tiny bit of the juice to give it that flavor, and now we're just going to mix that in. Now, as this pan is way too big to go into my refrigerator, I'm praying that it's going to fit in this bowl. Yes, it is. See, I used the big one just to kind of combine and mix. Oh, yes. And now let's just get all of that because I don't want to leave a single drop of nut. I want it all in. And there you go. That's Mama's cauliflower chickpeas fresh herb salad. Enjoy. So, 
a little bit of peace, whole lot of love, and so from the cauliflower mama. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. Don't stick your hand in any hot water. I got cooked fingers. I'm used to this kind of stuff.